Morning, welcome to HQ. So, yesterday I raced in the um, Cycling Time Trials National 100 Mile Time Trial up in Boroughbridge in Yorkshire on the infamous, for us Yorkshire guys, Red Wall course. A tough undulating four lapper which, never, which is relentless, um, up and down, lots of hills. I mean, for me yesterday, it was going to be a key race for me, but unfortunately, I'd actually fallen off my bike on Thursday last week and end up, could not rest on the aero bar, so I ended up having to race on my um, aero road bike here. I've also brought out, just for comparison, my standard TT bike. What I thought I'd do, it, I'd do, I was thinking about this last night, I was having a look at um, the, the Strava and the times and the data, etc., from the race and, and what people did. and. And it really drove home to me the importance of what I bang on about all the time, the importance of aerodynamics. You know, a few stats for you here. So, Marcin Biablocki won the race with an awesome time of 3 hours, 24 minutes and 55 seconds. He won by 9 minutes. It was a fantastic ride. Uh, I, on the other hand, did 3 hours, 57 minutes and 57 seconds on the road bike, which, to be fair, I was very pleased with and I felt I'd had a good race. Where it gets interesting then is when you start to compare the data and the stats from the race. So if we look at this, well, if we look on Strava, and obviously it may or may not be accurate, but let's assume that it is for argument's sake. So I know that I did 326 watts for the race. That com that's comparable with what my training peak says, so I'm comfortable with that on the road bike. Marcin Strava said he did 341 watts, so 15 watts more. 15 watts does not make up for nearly 33 minutes. So let's have a talk about where that 33 minutes came from. So let's make a really simple assumption here. And let's assume that one watt is equal to about three seconds in a 25 mile time trial, okay? So in a 100 mile time trial, one watt will be equal to 12 seconds, yep. So Martin put out 50, Martin put out 15 more watts than me. So 15 more watts, is 180 seconds or three minutes. So Marcin's athletic ability, like for like, beat me by three minutes. Absolutely fair play, don't doubt that. I think it's also worth noting that if I'd been on the time trial bike, it's unlikely I would have actually been able to put out the same number of watts as on the road bike. But for comparison purposes, I think that's quite useful. Okay, so where it gets interesting then is let's have a look at the bikes that we rode and what difference the kit that we may have used may have made to the race. So as I said, I use my Standard road bike here, pictured, which is a aero frame, a decent aero frame, standard drop handlebars, standard wheels with um, Continental GP4000 tyres and butyl inner tubes and frame mounted water bottles. Okay, so obviously I've not got a Marcin's bike, but Marcin rode something like this a true aero setup, disc wheels, a disc rear wheel, deep section front wheel either tubulars or tubeless, low rolling resistance tyres, a very aerodynamic front end setup and hidden cabling, hidden, um, hidden aerodynamics as much as possible across the bike. So what difference did all these things make? Well let, let's think about first of all soft kit. It's likely that the kit we wore was very similar. I wore a high quality skin suit as did Marcin um, and the gains from that would have been minimal or nothing. Helmet, Mar Marcin's helmet is integrated perfectly to his position, so this will have given him some benefit over the aero road helmet that I used. So let's say that was worth 5 watts or a minute over the whole of the, the race. The disc wheel, like the disc wheel, probably worth maybe another 5 watts, another minute. Then the tubeless or tubular low rolling resistance tyres on here. They were probably worth maybe 15 watts or up to 3 minutes. Massive. When I've tested those, it's unbelievable how much they're worth. The aero bike frame may well have saved another 15 watts or 3 minutes. The bottles. I had standard round bottles on the tube. That may have cost me versus Martin's setup. Maybe a minute, maybe not. Obviously then an optimised drivetrain. We're talking about the, the, the ceramic speed oversized pulley system, a wax chain, ceramic bearings. Again, these may have saved eight watts or about a minute and a half. So let's add all those things up. So what we've got there is the bike and the kit maybe gave Marcin an extra 54 watts equivalent or nearly 11 minutes faster. So what we've got so far is we've got 14 minutes faster Marcin was from his own athletic ability and his bike and kit. But that means another 19 minutes or almost, you know, 
more than 50% of the time he beat me by was due to the quality of his position over the position I achieved on the road bike. I mean, for me, it absolutely hits home the importance of the right bike fit, the right bike, and aerodynamically getting it right. You can be one of the strongest athletes there, but if you've not optimised all of these things, you're not going to be in the game, and it's absolutely critical. I was off the game by a mile yesterday for not bad athletic ability. The importance of that fit, that position, and secondly, the kit is there. So, you know, a lot of people say to me, can I just buy my way to speed? Yes, you can to a degree. Let's assume here Marcin may have had 10 minutes more speed due to things you can buy, but the majority came from the position. It's a critical factor, guys, so have a think about that.